Good morning, students. Let us start with our subject English. Today we'll start with our third chapter, that is a poem, Daffodils. Daffodils written by William Wordsworth. Daffodils are small, golden, yellow-colored flower. When they are seen in a large number, they create a impact on one's mind. One such experience is shared by the poet in this poem. Or through the poem, these emotions are shared with us. Poetry is the spontaneous overflow of powerful emotions. And Wordsworth truly makes it true by giving us the proper and supreme emotions what he has to convey because he is a true worshipper of nature. He is a nature poet and nature always play a pivotal position in his poetry. Let us learn more about this poet. William Wordsworth was born on 1770 and died in the year 1850. He was a major English poet. He is referred to as a romantic poet because of his poems describe the beauty of nature and the spiritual world within our minds. One day he was taking a walk with his sister Dorothy around Glencoyne Bay, Ullswater in the Lake District when they saw a large number of daffodils growing close to the water side. The sight was so beautiful that Dorothy went home and wrote about them. It is believed that William was inspired by her description of the walk and he wrote this beautiful poem, The Daffodils. This is the poem, The Daffodils. First we will go through the poem, then we will discuss stanza wise. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er vales and hills. When all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. Continuous as the stars that shine and twinkle on the Milky Way, they stretched in never-ending line. Along the margin of a bay, ten thousand saw I at a glance, tossing their head in sprightly dance. The waves beside them danced, but they outdid the sparkling waves in glee. A poet could not but be gay in such a jocund company. I gazed and gazed, but little thought what wealth the show, of, show to me had brought. For oft, when on my couch I lie, in vacant or in pensive mood, they flash upon that inward eye, which is the bliss of solitude. And then my heart with pleasure fills and dances with the daffodils. William Wordsworth So let us start with the first stanza. I wander lonely as a cloud. That floats on high o'er bay or vales and hills. Now here the poet was telling that he was traveling just aimlessly without any aim. And he was just comparing himself to a cloud. Have you seen the clouds? How do they move? Do they go in a particular direction? No, they just float in the air and they are very light and which can move from one place to another and they can pass on hills, valleys. This is what it has been mentioned over here. So he tells that he was just like a cloud who was just moving, wandering here and there. And suddenly he sees something. What does he see? He see a host of golden daffodils. Host means a large number of something. Okay, or crowd also you can see. So he could see large number of daffodils in a particular place which is beside the lake beside means near the lake beneath the trees so beneath the trees it is like almost like shrub kind of plant and the golden as I told you the yellow colored flowers were fluttering and dancing in the breeze 
fluttering and dancing it's like the way of small movement of the flowers because of the beautiful breeze which was flowing over there and you can just imagine the scene how beautiful it must be uh, he was just taking a stroll next to the lake with his sister and he could find this beautiful scenery over there where he could see the daffodils they were fluttering and dancing he could see the flowers were so happy he could imagine the flowers to be very happy that they were enjoying and with this moment he could feel there is a joyful atmosphere around him so here you could see how the poet he is just traveling aimlessly and he's comparing himself to the clouds and suddenly he could see a beautiful view beside the lake beneath the trees lovely fluttering daffodils over there and the atmosphere was so beautiful see how they have showed the fluttering and dancing of the flowers over there in the second stanza continuous as the stars that shine and twinkle on the milky way they stretched a never ending line along the margin of a bay so here the poet says how the flowers are compared to the stars they are stretched in a continuous line just like the stars in a galaxy like the milky way we have learned the milky way right which is very huge and with n number of stars over there which creates magic they act like a diamond in the sky moreover the daffodils were shiny as they were in golden color what what the poet tries to bring out the actual comparison he compares the color the golden color to a twinkling part of the stars and as they were fluttering in the breeze as i mentioned earlier in the earlier stanza they were fluttering they were very happy they were dancing they were tossing their heads as the stars this comparison with the stars may have a greater implication that flowers are heavenly as the stars in the sky along the margin of the bay means the bay is the end of the lake that is a uh, end where uh, the land starts and where lot of daffodils are found where the poet has seen and he at once gives a number to them 10000 saw i at a glance actually this is an exaggeration he never went there and kept on counting how many flowers were there this is an way of telling that at a glance he could see 10000 at one glance one glance means at one view tossing the heads in sprightly dance tossing the heads like how do you toss your head here and there left and right when you're happy especially when you listen to your favorite music you naturally tend to toss your head here and there so in a sprightly dance sprightly means when you're very happy sprightly is being happy cheerful lively so they were also so poet is trying to tell the flowers as if they were having some life and they were trying to dance to a natural tune of the nature so this is what been given in the second stanza so here the poet he sees the flowers very happy and they are enjoying the breeze he compares these flowers to the milky way which is outstretched with thousands and thousands of star, stars over there and same thing he tells that 10000 saw at a glance so he could see a large number spread out over there and he was very much happy to see this sight moving on to third stanza the waves beside them danced but they outdid the sparkling waves in glee a poet could not but be gay in such a jocund company i gazed and gazed but little thought what wealth the show to me had brought so the waves in the bay were dancing and looking gleeful very happy and at the atmosphere 
but the flowers outshone the lively waves in their happiness that means the flowers were more brighter and more attractive than the waves which were formed in the lake and the liveliness of the waves were more happier than what it has been shown in the lakes having such cheerful comparison like the daffodils the poet couldn't help being so happy he was gazing constantly at the flowers and enjoying the beauty the word gazed gazed means looking at something continuously with a admiration admiring by admiring something so he was gazing constantly at the flowers and enjoying the beauty the word gazed is used twice i gazed and gazed to show that how he felt happy about the overall environment he felt the joyful moment over there and he was charmed by the particular scene where the yellow daffodils were beside the lake where lake was also shining and giving out its best and to that comparatively the flowers were also doing the best job and giving an equal competition to this waves then the poet writes what wealth the show to me had brought so he says that the wealth is the happiness and the pleasant memory which he has got from this sight that he enjoyed for a long time since the day he had viewed it so the author talks about the waves which are created in the lake they were also so beautiful but the beauty what the daffodils were giving out of their color and the da- the tossing their heads or the fluttering the wind they outdid the total scene and this or uh, the poet was enjoying and he could see this the memorable moment the day when he has viewed it moving on to the last stanza of the poem for of when on my couch i lie in vacant or in pensive mood they flash upon that inward eye by starting this stanza with for the poet continues his reasoning for saying that the flowers had brought him wealth he clarifies why the sight of the flower was so important in his life that whenever he lies on his bed in a vacant or thoughtful mood the daffodils flash upon his inner eye that is his imagination the daffodils have become an everlasting memory for the poet and why because he says that whenever he is lonely he calls it a bliss of solitude a bliss of solitude means something extremely happy when at the state of being alone when even it happens with you right sometimes you don't do anything and then to you just feel relaxed you just gaze outside and you look into the nature you may look at the clouds so sometimes during the rainy days you just look into the rain how does it have the impact on your mind you feel somewhere happy inside your mind same thing same feeling the poet is trying to put over here so he calls it as a bliss of solitude a blessing of staying alone and then my heart with pleasure fills and dances with the daffodils so whenever he closes his eyes only the flash of mind gives him the view of golden daffodils which were fluttering and dancing beside the lake beneath the trees and that sight was everlasting in his mind and he could feel the happiness once again the thoughts do make us and create us we always know right so this one of the thought of feeling happy he didn't do anything he was never after the fact when he looked into the scene was only for something half an hour or one hour but the view or the enjoyment what he had the serene atmosphere what he felt he could enjoy after that 
which prevailed for into his mind for years and years so here the poet whenever he sits alone and thinks about the daffodils he could see the sight over them and whenever he sees the flowers in his imagination his heart fills with pleasure and his mind dances with the dancing daffodils this shows the poet's intense feelings so here we come to the end of this beautiful poem daffodils by william wordsworth